Hello, it's been about, oh, it's been over two weeks since we've been out in the van. We've been so, so busy at work. Um, you know, we've had a couple of late nights because we've doing um, we've been doing an Elvis night. Aloha from Daisies. I did upload a video. It's got a copyright on it. I don't know how many you will see it. I think you can still see it. It's just sort of like copyrighted in certain countries. And uh, if I ever make money on it, it'll go to the copyright people. I don't mind. It's on there. Take a look at it if you like. But like I said, you know, we've been quite busy for the last couple of weeks. Two weekends on the trot, two Saturday nights on the trot. We had um, Aloha from Daisies at our tea room. Um, Elvis, Elvis concert. I was Elvis tribute, dressed up as Elvis. I looked more like a Teletubby, <laughs> Teletubby Elvis, but it was all a bit of fun. Oh, here we go. Phone's ringing. It's only a rubbish. Ah. Oh. Like I said, I looked a bit like a Teletubby Elvis, but it, it, it was all a, it was all a load of fun. And uh, you know, I sang. I think I sang about thirty Elvis tracks throughout the evening. We had an Elvis themed buffy with peanut butter and jello sandwiches and fried chicken and fries and chili and all the other things, donuts and and then we had just had like volavons and normal sandwiches and bits and bobs and that cheese and pineapple on sticks, which is always Jackie's favourite. So yeah, that kept us going two Saturdays on a truck. Of course, when we're doing that, we start work at like 10 o'clock in the morning and then we like finish at, well, we didn't get home until, we didn't leave there until knocking midnight. So it was a very, very long day. And then of course, we're back in on Monday to work. No, sorry, we're back in again on the Sundays to work. And then the Mondays, the last two Mondays, we've literally done nothing. We've just sort of like vegged out all day. Our feet had been killing. I'm not getting any younger. My thumb, I've got 53-year-old feet now. And when I'm on my feet for 14 hours, <laughs> it takes me a day or so to get over them. So anyway, we're in the van today. And we're going to go driving out somewhere. We're going to get a bit of dinner. And we're going to have a nice, nice day out. Don't know where we're going. <laughs> So we're on our way now, driving through my least, my least favourite street in Plymouth. It's 20 miles an hour. It's dumb and no, it's not that hard. All you've got to do is do 20 miles an hour. And the, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. But it's still better going through here at like 25 miles an hour rather than having to constantly watch your speedo to make sure you don't go over 20. But, you know, like they say, stay in second gear and it ain't gonna go any faster or set your speed limit. I don't know what I've been moaning about all these months for. Just coming out on the main road here, we're gonna head up towards Morrison's. That's our new favorite at the moment. Jackie wants a bit of a pasta pot. I want a little bit of chicken and some salad. I haven't been watching the diabetes as well as I should have been, but I'm making the effort today and having some chicken and salad. Here we are just approaching, well, they call it Pomflit Roundabout. I sometimes call it Morrison's Roundabout. And we're going to head into Morrison's, like I said. Get some chicken and get some salad pots. And I'll definitely pick up a couple of boiled eggs for me because that's protein. That, that's good for diabetics. Boiled eggs. Just past the old McDonald's there on the left. We've had a few of them lately. Very nice. The Big Tasty. Oh, yes. I don't mind a bit of Big Tasty. I've had too many of them lately. People just standing around smoking. I'm not going to be too critical because uh, I know there are a lot of smokers out there. I'm an ex-smoker, so an ex-smoker is the worst kind of smoker. I'm an ex-smoker. I've got asthma as well, so I can't even tolerate other people's smoke. And Jackie, she's she always hated cigarettes and smoking, even the well, especially the plastic wrappers on the cigarettes as well. She can't abide them. Let's find myself a parking space here in Morrison's. I'm hungry, we don't do breakfast. So to us, dinner is, or should I say lunch? Lunch is rather important because we don't do breakfast. Just wanna find a nice easy parking space, preferably one I can drive straight in and straight out the other end again. Yeah, oh, what's, oh I bet you could have reversed right in. No, I'm gonna drive right through actually, yeah. Drive right through, It'd be easier coming out the other end then. He's right on the line, so make sure I don't clip him as I'm going through. There he is. Now that'll give us an easy that'll give us an easy escape. They're all smoking. So while Cole's away, Jackie will play. And I'm going to do my housework for Carl. I'm going to 
get my Mr. Sheen and I'm going to get my duster and I'm going to clean what I can. I've hoovered up and I'm now going to dust the front. Exciting, I know. Then there is an empty toilet row. That's Carl all over. Everywhere we go, there's empty. God, it's amazing how dusty that is. This boy is so messy. Carl's side of his door is just like the side of his bed. Glasses case. His harmonica. An empty tissue row. Tissue. Why? Why, Carl? Why are you so messy? You can't take it for granted and just not care for him. Not keep him clean. Because before you know it, the novelty will wear off. And it just won't feel special anymore. That's why it's nice to keep on top of it and keep him clean. Keep him smelling fresh. like um, a cordless one but I would give it like maybe six out of ten but I'm there I expect too much probably maybe the first day of spring but the weather's not brilliant so there's plenty of time to do a real full spring clean when we have a lovely dry sunny day we got our salad pots and our chicken and everything like that, a load of grapes and that, and we're now heading off to, we're gonna to go to that place up near our, what do they call it, Cox Tour? I think it comes up as Pig Hill or Pork Hill on Google. Right, the other week when we tried to get to Gembridge, we couldn't actually get to it, and I don't think we're gonna to get to it this time, today as well, but there's a turn in here, and it takes you down to this like, residential dead end road, and you can get to Gem Bridge from there. But the parking is a bit rubbish on it, so I won't be doing it. I just want to go and have a, basically have a little drive, drive around there and just see what it is. See what it's like. And see if there is anywhere to park, because if I can park, is it that one? Or what's it called? The old station, there you go. I'm gonna take that road, don't know where that so kids just go in. It is a dead end, but there is a turning bay at the end. I've seen it on Google. Oh, stuck down I wonder if we can't turn in the turning bay. There's all houses down here, so they, you know, they obviously can get delivery lorries and everything. Oh, yeah, I know, but I just wanted to go down and see, because see how far it is to walk as well when we're walking it. These beautiful houses. I quite often get, I like, is it afraid or just reluctant to explore places? I'm afraid of getting stuck and stuff like that. I've got to stop being afraid of getting stuck. There we go. But this is how you get onto Drake's Trail. But you can park at the end on the moors, walk down through here and get straight onto Great Trail, luck. And then you don't have to worry about getting trampling through any mud. Like when we tried it at Magpie, we're straight onto it and we can get straight up onto Gem, straight up onto Gem Bridge, which is what we want. So we're gonna head back out of here. I only wanted to come down and uh, just check it out to see if we could actually get onto Drake's Trail and we can. So even if it's not a bone dry day, there's still some way we can actually get down and walk on it That's fair and enjoy it. But 
So we still have to walk down here. Yeah. That might come out very you one day though, mightn't I? We never go anywhere without each other. <laughs> we joined at the hip. We've just had to pull over for a second. Daisy decided <laughs> that whatever was in her stomach, she didn't want it anymore. <laughs> so Jackie's back there with the tissues. Pukey dookie. Pukey dookie. Yeah, we shouldn't have called her dookie. Oh, watch these, lad. They got big reinforced steel bloody mirror protectors there. And they take no prisoners. They charge at you like a blinking battering ram. So that's it, we made it to our park up. We're gonna sort the van out, jump in the back, get our dinner, get our dinner all dished out, and we'll see you then. Here we are, at our park up. <laughs> You're taking the piss? <laughs> well, here we are at our park up. <laughs> and I've laid all the dinner out, you can see that. We're gonna tuck in in a minute, I've got the kettle on. Jackie's gonna make a see cup of that. tea. Someone's going to get a slap in a minute. I've got a shovel in the back. Maybe I'm going to bury her on the moors. What did you say, Jack? What? You said don't use any of that footage. Yeah. Well, I will. Why? If you're going to open your gob when I've got the camera on you, you're going to expect, oh, you know. expect it to go viral, all right? Anyway, there's our dinner's luck. <gasps> Look at that. I'm going to strip some chicken for Daisy as well. That's what that's pox for. We got scotch eggs. We got way more food than what we need. Um, but we've got plenty for tea as well. Smile. It's International Happy Day. That's not my day. Just pretend to be happy. I don't want to. Look, all you got to do is this look. Watch me. <laughs> that's so scary. That's, that's how you be happy. Just try it. You'll like it. As they say, fake it until you make it. Even if you're miserable as sin. If you walk around like this... You catch your reflection so many times in shop windows or mirrors around the house or whatever that before you know it, you'd be creased up laughing. There she goes, making the tea. This is this is a new job that I've this is that I've bestowed upon her. Last few times we've been out, she started to make the tea. The thing is, I'm such a big fat lump. Once I'm sat down, I've basically landed, and for me to get up again. And start bumbling around the kitchen making a cup of tea when we're all ready for dinner. It just like causes the van to shake and it's just more trouble than it's worth. So Definitely. Jackie's new job, tea maker, which is what you do all week in work, isn't it? Yeah, I like making tea. You anyway. make tea, that that's your job. You're a tea maker and you are what, what, what are we? Well, you're assistant owner man. I'm a tea maker because I collect all the tea leaves. You collect all the tea leaves. And I sew little bags. And like you that. sew little bags. And then I put the leaves inside the bags. You said I'm a tea maker. Well, there you go then. She's, I she... do make little bags. Yeah, you make little bags. I sew them up. You sew them up. And then I make tea. That's glad to know. So what's your title at work then? Joint managers, I suppose, aren't we? We run a business together. I mean, you know, what does that make us? Joint managers or... I don't know. Business owners, that sounds really biffy. Oh. But it's what we do. I do the cooking and I order the food. And I cook the food. Yeah, I cook the food and I order the food. And uh, Jackie keeps the front of the house nice and clean. She serves the customers. She handles the money. I do accounts. She does the accounting. And then she gives all the money to me to put in the bank. I've decided to shove the pop top up, get it aired out a little bit, and I'm currently up there. It's quite nice up here. It's nice and long, actually. got loads of room. I'm up here watching The Walking Dead on my iPad. And it's really nice on Disney+. Plus. But it's really nice up here, and it's uh, it's obviously got more leg room than lying across the back, because the back of the van, it's six foot one from one side to the, you know, the length of the bed. But obviously... You know, which is, I'm only six foot tall, but obviously when you lie down, your feet sort of like, your feet stretch out a little bit further, make you a bit longer. So no, up here, good God. I think you're all right for about seven foot, if you're about seven foot tall, you're all right up here. And it's got a little, little safety net there just to stop your pillars and everything falling down the back. I've got a couple of USBs there. We got some little lamps as well. If I want them, where's my little lamps? We've got little reading lights, which actually, when it's dark, they are very, very bright. Actually, they've got like three different brightnesses. One, 
all the buttons down there. I can't hold the camera and press the button at the same time. But yeah, we've got three different different brightnesses. So that's pretty good. And like I said, at the base of each reading light, there's a USB socket as well. I really like these uh, pop tops, I must say, because they give you so much room. I mean, if you think the van itself is what? Van's six meters long. Chuck the length of the pop top on top of it. There's another two and a half meters as well. I was like driving around an eight and a half meters long van compacted into six meters of space. Ain't bad, isn't it? And you get a brilliant view as well. So I'm down the other end of the pop top now and you can see that panel there. I've pulled it back, I've unzipped it and that's just mesh so all the air can circulate through there. We've got another mesh panel at the front there. And also we got a, you know, like a plastic, like a tent window panel on the right there. So we've got plenty of visibility, plenty of visibility up here and plenty of fresh air. And in the summer, sleeping up here in the summer, we've not slept up here in the summer yet, but I'll tell you why, it's gonna be so cool and breezy with those two mesh panels open all night. And like I say, you've got more leg room than you have downstairs as well. So I'm all right. Jackie can sleep anywhere. She, she could sleep across the passenger seat and she'd still have plenty of leg room. I'm not kidding. I've had such a lazy afternoon just lounging around in the top of the pop top. I mean, that's what we come out for, just to lounge around. We've had such a busy fortnight. So it's nice just to lounge around and do very, very little. Jackie's downstairs. It sounds funny when you're in a camper van saying she's downstairs, but she is. She's walking around underneath me. She's making a cup of tea. I just heard the kettle whistling. Right. I'm going to see if I can get Jackie. She's down there. <laughs> she there? Can I get her? Still don't regret buying this. There she is. Don't regret buying what, darling? The van. No, it's amazing. It's the biggest thing we've ever bought. It is the biggest thing we've ever bought. I can see you, look. <laughs> <laughs> No. I spy with my little eyes over beginning with Jackie. Are you doing domestic duties? If you're making a cup of tea domestic, then I guess that is. That's it's domestic domestic. duties. Domestic makes me sound like a cat. Well, that would mean to say that you're domesticated, which... <laughs> That's pushing it a bit much, isn't it? Well, yes, I don't use a litter tray. No, you don't use a litter tray. Is that tea coming on, girl? I'm bringing it up to your tree house. Oh, bless you. Go steady now, because one run at a time. This literally could go so wrong. Well, if you do it slowly and carefully, oh. it'll be fine. There we go. That's a good girl. Thank you, sweetheart. I know, oh, I've just opened that so I could spy on the cars. Is that nice for you, having it up there on your show? It's beautiful, darling. I bloody love it up here, I'll tell you. We didn't really do tea this evening. Well, Jackie wanted to finish her pasta pot. And I had, and then about 20 minutes later or half an hour later, I come, come down from the pop top and I had some, some chicken and I shared it with Daisy. And we're just going to finish off the evening now playing our usual Monopoly. What's it called? Monopoly deal card game, which we think is amazing. Here it is. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Definitely. I'm not into games. I'm not into card games or anything like that. But this game is so addictive. I think it's brilliant. We're just about to leave this old park up. We've had quite a nice evening. Played a few games of cards. Had a bit of chicken and that. Jackie finished her pasta. And Jackie's just doing what she always does. And she's having a crack at the old Uber. Are you getting on there with the Uber, Jack? Well, I'm not doing the Ubering. I'm kind of She's not doing the Ubering. She's kind of improvising. Actually, what happened? She found a little bit of red on the floor. I saw it, but I ain't got very good eyes. And I just thought it was a bit of food that would Uber up. But we were eating those baby bells. And they got this, like, red plastic wax stuff on the outside. And a bit of it got crushed into the carpet. So... I have to have a little look at that one way. I don't know whether she's got it. Did you get it up with the Uber? Yeah, oh, well done. Right, that's it. We're off now. We've got everything sort of like turned off and battened down and we're about to drive back home. So see you in a bit. Yeah, we got work in the morning. So 
I have a day of fun and laughter at work, but if you don't work, you can't pay the bills, you certainly can't have a nice camper van and get out and enjoy it. And like I said earlier, it is the um, first day of spring today. So uh, it's been a quite a pleasant day actually. There's been no rain. I've had the pop top up. I've been chilling out in the pop top. We haven't even had to have the heating on, so that makes a nice change. Just going through Motley Plain on approach to Plymouth City Centre. There's a few pubs and that down here. I mean, it's quite a popular place here on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. I haven't been down here drinking for a long, long time. I'm getting a bit old for it now. Wow. Am I getting too old for it? I'm 53. Well, if I'm getting a bit old for it, I just can't be bothered with it or too tired for it. They've got the old Witherspoons down here somewhere and they've got a few other ones and that. And it's, uh, it does get quite busy um, when people like, you know, can't be bothered to go into the city centre and they all live in the local area. Not far from home now anyway, so literally about five minutes five minutes away from home. Actually, we weren't even going to come this way initially. We were going to go a different way, but um, I haven't come this way for a while. And I just fancied a chain, so I thought I'd give it a go. We're back in the van. It's been a little while. It's been at least a week. I don't, did we go out last week, Jack? Did we go out last Monday? We didn't go out last Monday because we had workmen again coming in trying to fix a problem that they couldn't fix. So we're going to head off in the van, see what we get up to. Well, we've just been for a nice meal. We went in the Mount Batten down, um, well, down Mount Batten actually. We went in the Mount Batten, down Mount Batten, met all the family, and we had a nice meal there. Me and Jackie had a lovely roast, roast of the day, roast turkey. I think it was only £11 each, so you can't grumble at that. Gonna, well, I've got to go in and pick up an Amazon Fire Stick because mine fried this morning. So I'm going to go to Argos, pick up an Amazon Fire Stick. And um, then we're going to go and park up somewhere for a few hours, or at least until the evening. It's actually Easter Monday, so I have to say to everybody, Happy Easter! Hope you've had a lovely time, hope you've had lots of Easter eggs. We haven't had loads of Easter eggs. I think over the last like, two or three weeks, I've been picking Jackie one up every like four or five days. And it's been in, been in the fridge for a couple of days, and then she's opened it and we've shared it. So I think you've got one left, haven't you, Jack? So we'll have that sometime. And here we are driving across Dartmoor. We love Dartmoor. Beautiful open, open moorlands. Absolutely stunning place. And the weather's not bad as well. It's dry. It's dry. That's about all you can ask for in the beginning of April. It's dry at the moment. Got a bit of cloud up there. We're just approaching Prince Town. This is where we like to go and get our fish and chips from time to time. Although we haven't had fish and chips for a wee while at Prince Town. Only because I've been trying to make the effort and I've been getting chicken and salad and things like that, but we've already eaten today so we don't have to worry about that until tea time. But as soon as it's our day off, and day offs are generally classed as naughty days, I think I might treat myself to a McDonald's burger on the way home later on tonight. Then we're coming up on the right here is Dartmoor Prison. Look, that's all the prison grounds on the right of us. There's the wall. I think the camera's angled more to the left, so you might not see much of it. But here's the prison. I don't want to go there. Well, it's a very interesting building. I wouldn't mind going in for a look around as long as they let me out again afterwards. Didn't throw the key away. There's a museum. I want to go there. Wouldn't Jackie there? wants to go to the Dartmoor Prison Museum. That would be interesting. Now we've got this little narrow bit here, which can get a bit airy if something's coming towards you. Or you, should I say. Yeah. To be honest, more than worrying about hitting another vehicle, if we put our brakes on too much, I've got a box of water in the back. I've got four gallon, you know, big gallon, gallon what do you call them? Jugs, jars, containers full of water. So we always carry like four gallons of water with us. Um, especially in the winter, obviously, because we're doing it in the tank in case the tank freezes. So I've got four of them under the under the bed. And if I slam my brakes on too much, they all slide forward. So that's a good reason for me not to slam my brakes on. It's like my own drive 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 management system. If I slam my brakes on too harshly, all but all the containers of water shoot to the front of the van. So that's something I don't want to happen. So it forces me to drive a little bit better. Well. My, mainly with the braking forces me to refrain from slamming my brakes on. Off to the left. Who's that? 
Devon something didn't get a chance to read it. Anyway, what a lot of YouTubers do is they'll have a camera pointing forward and they'll record the whole drive and they'll have a camera, camera pointing at them and then they just edit together as they see fit. Well, we're just, we're not, we're not techno YouTubers. We're just using an iPhone. What's that then? Yeah, we're just using the iPhone. Look, there's a, we see that van quite a lot. That's the auto, auto sleeper thingy bobs. Look, we see that one a lot around Dartmoor. Right, we're just coming down into the little village of Merivale. Beautiful, quaint little village. There used to be an old pub on the right, by the looks of it, but I think that's been closed for a, for a while. Well, it don't look very open, so. I don't know if you can see the hill so much on the on the camera. Obviously when you're driving down them, it's like coming down the Big Dipper and back up the other side. Look at all these rocks on the right lap. Imagine if that was a landslide coming down and messing up the road. That would be a bit scary. Here we are. This is our go-to park-up place. We uh, spend many days here and quite a few nights as well. We haven't spent the night here for a little while though. We haven't really spent any nights in the van for a while. I don't think we have, not we, Jack? Actually, the ice cream van, I can go and get an ice cream. Oh, that's a bit busy there. Do you want to go to the right or to the left there? Yeah, the right, on the right, on the right. Right with that one? Mind. Question is, is Daisy alright with that one? There. And here we are, gonna park up, get the kettle on. Like I said, I'll probably have one of those cappuccinos, those Nescafe little sachets. They're lovely. I'm tempted to go over and get myself an ice cream. I might have to put the kettle on first for Jackie. Like your diabetes. I'm tempted to go over and get myself an ice cream. I have to put the kettle on first for Jackie. Yeah, one good thing about this spot is there's always an ice cream van here when the weather's nice and yeah i gave in to temptation and grabbed myself self an ice cream jackie didn't want one but i'll have this one while the kettle's boiling and i'll have me what am i having a cappuccino when jackie's having a cuppa so we couldn't come out in the van without playing our favorite card game monopoly deal And we're just getting to the end of the game now. And it was Jackie's turn. So what's going on here then? One, two. Okay. I'm um, okay, my love. Well, the rain's just stopped. The rain's just stopped. So I'm not gonna milk it. You're not gonna milk it. Steal a complete property. What? Set, including any buildings. You're so joking. I'm, so I'm going to get that oh, yeah, that's mine. And I've completed it. You haven't, one, have you? One, two, three. Three property sets. So, so you've won. And that means I've lost. So basically, I'm a loser. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Want to play it again? No. All right, then. Want to go home, do I? Let's go home and get some McDee's. <laughs> Right, so we're going to give you a little lowdown about what's been happening lately. Well, I've told you about the Elvis. We've had two Elvis uh, concerts, um, two weeks on the trot. I actually uploaded a video on the channel. I don't know whether you all watch it because obviously I mainly do van life and you might not be interested in it. But yeah, there's a full video of me <laughs> dressed up looking like a Teletubby Elvis. I wasn't supposed to look like the best Elvis on earth. It was all good fun. It really was. It was a lower from daisies. I threw a little Elvis costume and a wig and some glasses together. And I sang the night away as Elvis. And the singing is a hell of a lot better than the outfit. So that was a really, really good two evenings, two Saturdays on the trot. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show. Pretty hair in and I'm going to care for the little juice. Sell my little sweet juice. And then it's just been work, really. We've had everything falling apart in the in the house. We live in one of those, um, what's it, local corporation house. Um, and we keep getting leaks and plumbing disasters. And the central heating hasn't worked for two weeks. And people come up 
come round and look at it and they try to sort it and they can't. I ain't got a blinky clue what's going on. But hopefully tomorrow morning someone's going to come and fix the central heating. And the, the shower's leaking through the kitchen ceiling and they keep investigating it and they keep making the hole bigger and bigger and bigger. Honestly, we've got like a about a five, six foot square hole in our kitchen ceiling. They put ply over it, but it's still leaking. And what happens now, the water hits the ply, runs across the ply, drips down onto the sideboard. Well, it was dripping onto the air fryer, so I had to move the air fryer. So it's dripping onto the sideboard, then dripping into the drawer and dripping into the cupboard and dripping into the saucepans. It's been a blinking disaster. So yeah, we've got another three weeks to wait for them to fix that. So we just got to live with drips for the time being god knows what's happening but that's what they're doing so anyway that's it <clears throat> that's it really isn't it yeah i've entered so, you into competition oh, that's what i was gonna say <clears throat> she stitched me right up didn't she she entered me into a singing competition one of our local pubs out on the bar out on the barbican what's it called again the blues bar the blues bar they do lots of live music and things like that where they were doing a doing a competition you had to everybody had to well not everybody you had to send in a video clip of somebody doing a live performance to a backing track and um you know see whether you get through in that anyway they got over 50 applicants they rounded it down to the final 16 i made it through to the final 16 um they're gonna do i think they're doing it over several weeks with um i think they're having four four Four, four contestants, time, yeah. yeah, four contestants each each time. And I am going Monday, Monday the 8th of April, 8 o'clock, that's when my slot is. So I've got to turn up, sing sing, sing for half an hour um, in my set of four other contestants and then see where I get with that. And then if I make it through to the next next one, it'll be a semi-final. Then it'll be a semi-final, then a final. I think the winner gets, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like stars in their eyes or bloody X Factor. You know, the winner gets 100 quid, which is 100 quid, isn't it? Damn right. And um, and then they, they'll give you, or should I say, they will offer you a paid gig as well. So, you know, you can't cock your nose to put that. And it gets, you know, get, gets me out there, gets us noticed. It's also going to give our tea rooms a little bit of um, ad, out, yeah, yeah, a bit of a shout out, a bit of an advertisement, because obviously I'm I'm auditioning as Daisy Singing Chef, so, <laughs> you know, and um, we got quite a few people, customers come in on the night as well um, to watch me sing. So it's, it's going to be good all around. It's going to be good for the bar because they're going to have lots of people coming in drink, drinking beer and that. It's going to be good for us because we're going to get a bit of publicity and um, it's going to... Come along. Come, al come and cheer, along. And cheer, and cheer me along. Yeah, was it Monday the 8th? Monday the 8th at 8 o'clock, 8th of April at 8 o'clock. And if I get through, then there'll be, I don't know, a semi-final and a final. Um, it's just good for everybody. You know, we've got 16, 16 great contestants sort of going head to head. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of them. A lot of people, a lot of them got like Facebook pages and there's videos. And now there's a lot of good talent out there. There's a lot of good talent. I wouldn't have put myself forward. I wouldn't because I'm not that vain. I'm really not. I'm not into competitions. Um, no, you know. Um, but Jackie put me forward. So, and then she told everybody that she put me forward. So I got to do it. And I, I look like a Wally else. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it, enjoy myself and see, see, see what happens. It's all a bit of fun, isn't it, Jack? Watch this face. What? I was nervous though. Bloody bricking myself. I'm feeling a bit yeah. better now, you know, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm quite happy singing in my tea rooms because it's in the confinement of my own space. I'm in control of it. I've got all my kit set up there. I've got me words and I've even got a fan because I get, oh, I've got a fan cooling me down and that. So this is going to be a little bit airy, but, you know, I just got to remember it's all all good fun and we're all in it together. All 16 of us are going to be bricking, our, bricking ourselves. And on that note, like I said, or as you know, we haven't been out an awful lot in the van of late because we spent most of our time waiting in for blinking plumbers and 
heating technicians and God knows what. Um, but we've had a nice little day today. Like I say, we went out. We had a nice meal in the Mountbatten pub. I had, we had a nice roast each, didn't we, Jack? Nice turkey roast. First turkey roast I've had since we demolished the Christmas turkey supplies. So that was really nice. And we met all the family there. We had our grandson and our and our children there. So that was really nice. Oh, and our brother and your sister, mm -hmm. your sister and our brother-in-law John, who helps us out at our events, you know, in Daisies. So that was really nice. And then they all went on their merry way. We jumped into our van and then we come out to this place, which we love out on, what do they call it? Pork Hill, Pig Hill, Pork Hill, out by Cox Tor, you know, between Tavistock and Princetown. So we've had a lovely couple of hours here. And now we're going to wrap it all up. And go home. Go home, pick up some muck these. We were hoping to get that initially for lunch until our plans changed. Because Daisy, she, you know, she's got this funny tummy. And sometimes she decides she doesn't want to eat anything. And this morning she didn't eat her breakfast and we offered it again to her, you know, dog food at about, I don't know, about 11 o'clock, something like that. No, she still didn't want it. I was going to get her McDo or get us McDonald's for lunch because she always eats a couple of burgers. She doesn't have the bread roll and the salad, but she has the burgers. So um, I was going to get that for lunch, but we ended up going out to the Mount Batten. So um, we're going to get it on the way home for tea. I'll get... I'll get myself a normal burger, but then I'll get a triple cheeseburger um, and then I'll take two of the patties out, two of the meat patties out and then Daisy can eat those two and then she'll feel like she's winning at life then because I know she loves it. I mean, come on. She's a 12 and a half year old little girl. What 12 and a half year old little girl can resist McDonald's? Oh, also one more thing I've got to say, actually. Um, you know, we had that tear on the seat like... <laughs> I can't even remember when it happened last October, where the van is finally going to Marquis Motorhomes. Tomorrow morning? Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday. morning. Oh no, Wednesday morning, they're going to pick it up and they're going to take it away and they're going to take the upholstery off, take it to an upholsterer's and get it fixed. So that, that tear is going to get sorted. And also they're going to take a look at where the pop top um, was leaking a few months ago. Um, like I said, at the time when it was leaking, it was parked facing downhill. Since then, I turned the van around and it's been facing uphill all the time. So fortunately, we haven't had that leak. But obviously, I'm afraid to face it downhill. Um, in case it leaks again. Where I live, it's at the end of a cul-de-sac. So what I like to do when I come home, if it's clear at the top, I turn the van around there and then, then it's all ready for, you know, for when we go again. Else when I, um, you know, when we do want to take it out, after the time, it's so congested up the top there that I've got to reverse it down the hill. So um, yeah, that would be nice if they can sort that leak out. Like I said, we haven't... We haven't witnessed the leak um, since it originally happened because we've been facing the van the opposite way. But obviously, if they can take it up there, get the O's on it, see what's what, they might see it. You know, they're the professionals. They should be able to sort it so it don't happen again. That's it. We're all done for the day. We're going to head off home now. Let's get out of here. Reverse it back. Anything behind me? All clear. Clear. Oh, handbrake. Handbrake's always good. If you want to. Here we go, Blue Boo. The sink, bathroom sink yeah. down. Yeah? Brilliant. Because <clears throat> we don't want the bathroom sink up because it's a, it's one of those drop down sinks. There is a car coming. Look, I might just let him come. You just. Oh no, I've got plenty of time. He's got his miles away and they're only doing 40. If they're going any faster, where they shouldn't be. There. She's going on a bike boat. Well, we were going to have McDonald's, but we settled for KFC. Couldn't resist it. Jackie's choice. Right, I got my KFC. Let's get in there and scoff it down. Hello, me lovely. We've got fucking sun now. Here we are with our KFC, and you know the only thing that's left to do now is to make sure plenty of that and plenty of that <laughs> makes its way into there. You can have some too, and we've even got a couple of bits of extra chicken for Daisy because she was looking forward to her McDonald's burgers, but she's going to have to settle for chicken for now. I must admit that this Zinger burger is something special. I don't like the tower, the hash brown in it just makes it all mushy. But the Zinger Burger, blinking handsome. Mm. 
<laughs> Daisy, how much KFC can one dog eat? I don't. Daisy, you piggy. You are a piggy. Sit. How much KFC can one dog eat? Sit. Sit. Do you want it? You really want it that badly? You want the KFC? Sit. Sit. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Go on then, fat bum. She's certainly filling her boots tonight. Right, we've had all that. All I've got to do now, sit that one in the bin. You can get the door if you want. Oh. And very nice it was too. Made very, very short work of that. In you go, bye. Sorry. That was like wrestling a tiger. Even Daisy had two bits of KFC. Without the Krispies, Daddy had that. Yay! Let's get out of here. Ah, oh. was it beep? Twats parked behind me. Imagine if some car, while I was here, just decided to park right behind me. Yeah. Just like to be a complete knob jockey. We're out of here. Round we go, round and round the Robin versus the Roggy Robin Ran or something like that. Thank you for a lovely day. Jackie. Thank you for a lovely day, Jackie. Thank you for a lovely video. Everybody who's been watching this, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely week or two and we'll see you just as soon as we can get out and about and shove another video together. Take care now. All best. Bye bye. tracks at my Elvis night. That was a bit of Billy Idol. Here we go, it's my Elvis. That's me. How many seconds of this can I get away before we're copy copyrighted? Have me some fun tonight. Yeah.